Welcome to the Future YouTube Peeps. I'm Dave. And I'm Jacob. And today we're going to be looking at the first big hardware release of 2018, AMD's Raven Ridge Desktop APUs. Better known as AMD's Ryzen Desktop Processors with Radeon Vega Graphics. Yeah, that's the official title and it's a bit of a mouthful, that, uh, as the engineer said to the journalist. Okay, so let's just get stuck in. So we've got the main big box. Okay. There she is. Lovely packaging there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the lovely sound of Velcro right there. Okay. Cool marketing materials. And inside is all the good stuff. Okay, so the main things are the two APUs themselves. So it's 2400G and the 2200G. Boom, lovely stuff. And in there, tiny little motherboard, tiny little motherboards. We'll talk about that one later. So that's the B350. And then we've got another pack of memory from G-Skill. And some ooh, oh, USB sticks, lovely stuff. And, and that's everything for the actual big old box. Right, okay, so what we have here, so motherboard, processors, memory. So the top APU in this stack is the Ryzen 5 2400G, so that's a four-core CPU component with eight threads with the simultaneous multi-threading in there. So it's got a 3.6 gigahertz base clock and a 3.9 gigahertz boost clock. And that's important because with the Precision Boost 2.0 feature set that's being introduced with the Ryzen 2000 series, you'll get those higher frequencies more often than you would with the 1000 series CPUs and that's going to be great for gaming. So the really important thing for these is also getting the AMD Vega GPU inside it. And with the 2400G, you're getting the Vega 11 version, which has 11 CUs and 704 GCN cores. And that runs to $169. The 2400G is replacing the Ryzen 5 1400, but there's also the 2200G that's replacing the Ryzen 3 1200. This is a four core, four thread APU with 3.5 gigahertz base clock, 3.7 gigahertz boost clock. And that comes with a Vega 8 GPU, eight CUs and 512 GCN cores stuffed inside. And that is $99. So in terms of pricing, the 2400G is coming in at about the same sort of price as the 1400, but the 2200G is coming in significantly cheaper than the 1200 that's outgoing. And they're both coming with higher clock speeds than the two outgoing Ryzen chips. So while these are Ryzen 2000 series chips, they're not using the new 12 nanometer Zen Plus design that the upcoming Pinnacle Ridge chips will be using in April. Yeah, so this is just the standard 14 nanometer design that was used with the original Ryzen chips. You're just getting a higher boost clock and the Precision Boost 2.0 feature set as well. We can't talk performance just yet, but AMD have said you'll get 1080p gaming performance out of the 2400G and eSports class frame rates from the 2200G. The thing is you're going to have to probably be a little bit more parsimonious about your game settings to hit those heights. Okay, so also in our Raven Ridge Care package, we've got the B350i Pro AC from MSI. So that's a little B350 motherboard, and it's, it's, it's quite tiny. Look how small that is. I really get a, 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 a proper little geek rush from seeing these tiny little motherboards. Sorry for the rustling. Oh, Look how small that is. See, this is the promise of Raven Ridge. Is it going to be able to make these really small, small form factor gaming PCs just by dropping a, a, a processor in there, an APU in there, and getting gaming performance without having to drop in a discrete graphics card, which is really handy at the moment because they're bloody expensive. So as this is part of AMD's new way of doing things, the Raven Ridge APUs will drop into any existing AM4 motherboard. So it's any of the 300 series that were brought out with the Ryzen CPUs. You will, however, need to make sure you do a BIOS update first before you can get the chip running. All manufacturers have committed to releasing BIOS updates for the February 12th launch though, so do not worry about that. They are also perfectly set up for a small form factor PC with the mini ITX boards being ideal, which is probably why they put one in the box. So one of the really interesting parts about the Raven Ridge platform is the overclocking potential that it has. Because the motherboards, the AM4 motherboards themselves, are designed to house 95 watt processors, and both of these are 65 watts, that are designed for higher performance chips. So you should be able to get more performance out of them when you overclock. So we've seen some overclocking demos at a pre-CS event, which saw 40% performance uplift in 3D Mark Firestrike, going from 2,911 to 4,048 just from overclocking the GPU, memory, and tweaking the timings. 
And so every tweak you make to the Raven Ridge chips actually does make a difference. And that's gonna be really interesting going forward. And on the memory side, AMD have upped the maximum memory compatibility up to 2933 MHz. So this is the new kit coming from AMD next week, and we'll have a full review of both the Ryzen 5 2400G and the Ryzen 3 2200G on Monday, February 12th. And remember, if you've liked what you've seen or heard, then give us a like and subscribe on the channel, and check back on PCGamesN.com for more hardware and gaming goodness. Oh, cool. thanks for watching. Bye.